What's up everybody? I'm Aiden. I'm Clark. In today's video, we're going to take a look at two pieces of analog gear that we really like using for our live streams. The ART Trans Y FET Compressor. And the Clark Technic Square One Dynamics. Welcome, Welcome to Liquid Studios. Studios. We did a video on the ART and the Square One. Uh, we haven't uploaded it yet. It'll come up after this, but this was really kind of our second video um, to those. We wanted to do this one first because we had our drummer come by and we figured it made more sense to uh, have get a real drummer. Yeah, get audio from him because that's kind of how we have our, uh, our gates and stuff set up on the square one. We have them set up for him and he plays a lot harder and louder than we do. Um, so, and we, even for him, we just have the gates and stuff kind of subtle. So we figured it made more sense to get, uh, get the audio of him using it. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of why we're releasing this video first before the other video that we shot. But this is actually our second ART trans why we bought. We like the first one so much that we're using on vocals. We're also going to probably show some samples of that because we're talking about how we use them live. But we liked it so much we got a second one for drums. We originally bought the Trans Y compressor to use on our vocal chain because it had the built-in de-esser, which turned out to work out great, especially for eliminating some more of the cymbal bleed in the background. Um, it ended up leading to us buying a second one that we use for our drum overheads as well because these things are really clean compressors and there's no noise floor or anything that we found off of them so far. Yeah, and they were on sale right now in Canada for like 300 bucks for a stereo fat compressor is just is unbelievable. And with the way our setup is with the Motu, um, because we're using these on our uh, signal chain, but we can also send outs from the Motu, so we can use these in two fashions. You, we could use them for like bus summing and stuff live during a live stream, or we can use them on a signal chain, or we can use them for mixing for bus summing and stuff. So it's really versatile for us having these on the channels like this. The second piece of gear we're going to talk about is the Clark Technic Square One Dynamics. We use that in our live setting mainly for the gates available on it, but we also use the compressor on the kick drum because we use a DBX160 on our snare and the Clark Technic is supposed to sound very similar to a DBX160 and we just figured it's good to keep kind of the mold together of the same compressor sound. Yeah, and these units, like, they work they work great so we're going to show some sound samples here from uh the last band practice we did we actually uh we recorded uh some audio we just had a camera kind of in the room here we just filmed uh in as a, on our drummer and clark playing guitar but we got the audio of the whole band playing so we're going to cut to some sound samples of that and kind of show these units in action and uh kind of what you can expect to hear out of them
As Clark said with the KT gates, uh, we're kind of using it, we're using it a little lightly. As you're gonna hear, we have live, uh, I have an exported of just the snare. So you'll actually be able to hear the gate closing and re releasing and opening and hearing how it rings out exactly on uh, Mike's uh, snare hits. Um, so yeah, you'll be able to hear it. It's it, like I said, it's a little light that we're using it, but we don't want to be. We're not looking for a heavy gated sound. This is our main snare tone. We just want to get rid of any excess bleed, and this unit is great for that. Same with on the vocals that you're gonna hear. Uh, you'll hear kind of how this helps to take out some of the uh, little bit of the bleed from the drums, and you'll also hear how well the ART works for controlling the dynamics of our singer. Um, he's pushing, we're pushing probably 4 or 6 dB of gain reduction for sure on this unit and it handles it without a problem at all. And uh, the first time we tracked with it, we were actually really impressed with how well it was uh, handled his, uh, his vocals if we really did push it hard. And we did to try that a little bit. Uh, but you'll hear that as well too on the sound samples. Uh, all the vocals were recorded live off the floor into the ART, so that's on the cymbals and on the vocals. Thanks everybody for checking out our video. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, comment, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on our latest videos. You can connect with us on social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. We also host a live stream every Monday and Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on YouTube. All the songs we create are released on all the major distributors, Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, and YouTube Music. We use DistroKid to release our content. Anybody who is not a member, there's an affiliate link below. You can sign up and save yourself 7%. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.